As a Japanese learner, have you ever looked at an image and been like, wow, I really wish I knew what this says, but I can't because I can't copy the text. Well, today I'm introducing ShareX, the solution to your problem. Yes, that's right. No longer will you have to awkwardly aim your phone at your computer screen, nor will you have to write in the kanji one by one on Google Translate. ShareX can scan any text on your screen, whether vertical or horizontal, and turn it into copyable text. The links are in the description. Once you arrive on the ShareX homepage, hit this download button and press the setup button to initiate the download. So the first feature we're going to set up is OCR, that stands for on-screen recognition. What I can do is press Alt-C on my keyboard and draw a rectangle around the text that I want to scan. ShareX will scan the text for you and turn it into copyable text. You can even press this open service link button and it'll translate it into whatever translation service you want. So I have DeepL selected, it's going to open it in DeepL. To set this up, all we have to do is open up ShareX. So of course, open up the installer and follow the steps to install it first. Then press the Windows button and just search for ShareX. That should open up a window that looks something like this. Then go into hotkey settings, just hit the add button. And so for the task here, we're going to select tools and then go to OCR. In the description, just write something that will let you know what this does. So OCR Japanese. I'm going to write a two after mine because I already have one. Then check override after capture tasks. And here you just want to disable something. So these are the ones that are in bold text are already checked. So we're just going to disable copy image to clipboard. We're going to disable save image to file. And we're going to enable recognize text OCR. Then go into the capture tab and enable override capture settings. Go into OCR and make sure the language is in Japanese. Once you're done, you can close this window. And in this section that says none, you can add a shortcut. So I like Alt C for OCR. Just left click on where it says none and enter in the shortcut that you want. Then on any web page where there's Japanese text, press your shortcut, draw a box around the text that you want to scan, let go, and it should automatically scan the text. One more thing you should probably do is change the service into DeepL because DeepL is more reliable than Google Translate. As a side note, there's no OCR in this world that works perfectly. So here are a few tips to get better scans. Number one, use normal looking fonts. Stuff like this is basically impossible to scan. The size of the text also matters. So if something is really, really tiny, don't expect it to be able to read, but you can try to expand the text really large by enhancing the image. Then it would make reading this a lot easier. Contrast also matters. If you have really bright text on a really bright background, ShareX may struggle to read this. The dakten and han dakten on certain words may be cut off, and sometimes small kana become big kana. 99% of the time, when you have a white background and clear black text that is decently sized, ShareX should be able to recognize it without much of a problem. The next thing ShareX is useful for is for recording sounds, or more specifically, recording people talking. By combining these two tools, we can scan text from a video game, for example, then record the audio from said video game and then import it into Anki. The way we set this up is also very similar. We just go into hot key settings and we're going to press add. The task that we're going to add is screen record. And we're going to choose start stop screen recording using active window region. In the description, we're going to describe what it is. So audio record for Anki. I'm going to again do two because it's the second one that I have. We're going to override after capture task, making sure it's only copy image to clipboard and save image to file. Okay, next let's go to the capture tab and override capture settings. In screen record, Order, this is going to be important. Go into screen recording settings. For the video source here, we do not want video, so we're just going to change this to none. For the audio source, however, we do want to record audio. We're going to set this to virtual audio capture. If you do not see this option, press this button here, install recorder devices, and this is going to let you have the audio, uh, virtual audio capture option. Once you have this, we're going to change the audio codec to MP3, and we're going to set the quality to four. Oh, one more thing on the very top, the FFmpeg path here. If this is for some reason not showing FFmpeg.exe, hit the download button and you should download this recording tool. Once this is all set up, you can press the X button to exit out of this. We're all done here, so we can press X again. And now again, we just have to set a shortcut. I like Alt S. Now this is all fine and great if you just want to scan a bit of text on a manga or something. But if you have, say, the subtitles of an entire anime, don't worry, you don't have to record every single line one by one. Watch this video next to find out how to use Migaku to automatically create Anki cards with audio and sentences so that you can learn specifically the words that you don't know.